about a month ago, my friend dyed my hair a really dark blue. And it looked really good because she knows how to do, like, hair stuff. And, you know, obviously it faded by now. Like, it's gross and purple and bleh. Today, I'm going to re-dye it by myself. Never really dyed hair before. I don't really know how to dye hair. Like, I have no idea what to do. This is really dyeing hair for dummies. Because me, I, I'm the dumbest person I know. I do everything wrong. And I mean everything. So this should be interesting. The number one rule of hair dyeing is wear clothes that you don't care about. Like your brother's boxer shorts. That I was going to wear those, but eh. You probably want to wear black like this. Because like, you know, if it spills on it, you can't see it. Unless you're bleaching your hair. Because if you bleach your hair and you wear black, you might like... You probably like bleach your clothes or something like that. I'm using this Manic Panic in Shocking Blue, and I still have half of this lab, so hopefully that'll be enough. For best results, pre lighten hair to a light blonde. Oops. Shampoo hair using a deep cleansing shampoo. Apply to freshly washed dry hair. I shampooed my hair this morning, so I guess that kind of counts. Empty desired amount into coloring bowl. This is kind of like a coloring bowl, so whatever. Apply evenly with tint brush. What the heck is a tint brush? Like, it only came with this! This is the only thing- okay. Do not apply to scalp. Okay, good to know. Saturate hair thoroughly. What does saturate mean? I, I don't even know. I, this needs to be dumbed down. Comb evenly through the hair until it becomes frothy. Frothy. So, this is where I will be dyeing my hair. In the shower. Alright, so I have my hair dyed. Um, I have gloves. I mean, these are kind of like gloves. If you think about it, I mean, they're, they're not, I mean, you can't put your hands in it like gloves, but, I mean, well, you can put your hands in it. Oh, but hair binders attached to it. Okay, so these are the hair binders and the, yeah. All right, so now I apply this to my hair. Am I supposed to put my hair in a ponytail? It doesn't even say. This is weird. Like, this, I'm just going to get it all over my face.
do this. Like an angler fish. <gasps> you got the lizard! Hey, thank you! Oh my gosh! You got a chocolate candy shop! I'm so excited! Alright, I didn't really get everything, but it's all the dye there is, so I guess I gotta have to live with this. Cover hair in plastic cap and leave on for 30 minutes. For added intensity, heat may be used. I don't know what that means, but... Dang it, I like missed a huge chunk! It's gonna look like a... Whoa, it's totally dry. <laughs> oh, this looks kinda cool, it's like some kind of chef. Don't come in here. I'm documenting my failures. You can if you want. This is John. You're dying your hair. Yeah. You're killing it. You're murdering it. I don't care. I'm gonna shave it off anyways. Oh my thing is there's a hole in it. Oh my why? Okay. <laughs> well, how is it supposed to even stay on? That's what improvising is for. It worked. So, um, I guess I have to wait 30 minutes and then I'll come back and do the next step. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes. Actually, I'm kind of like over 30 minutes, like 40 minutes, anyway. But, okay. Rinse hair in cold water, away from face and body, until it runs almost clear. Alright. Okay. This is a disaster. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, it's coming out. It's supposed to stay in. For it to dry. Well, I'm finished. Doesn't look. Eh, it doesn't look so bad. I mean, I didn't blow dry or straighten it. Cause if I did, you hear, you know, a lot of screaming and swearing that would go with that. But that wasn't so bad. <laughs>